In this video, I will show you the best Premiere Pro GPU acceleration settings for Pro Video Editing. So let's see how to apply best settings in Adobe Premiere Pro and increase rendering speed. First of all, you need to download and install the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. From there, you need to enable the NVIDIA Studio Driver. Go to search and you need to type NVIDIA. Once you type NVIDIA, you will see the following options and uh, your concern is the GeForce Experience. Once you are right inside the GeForce Experience, you need to navigate to drivers. And once you are right inside the drivers, you will see two drivers here, which will be nvidia studio driver and the game ready driver in order to change the drivers here you need to click on these three vertical dots you will see two options here game ready driver and the studio driver if you want the best gaming experience you can go with the game ready driver but if you are looking for the best experience for your creative apps like premiere pro photoshop after effects you need to enable the studio driver you need to click on the studio driver and if you are unable to see the studio driver here it means that your GPU might not support the studio driver and in that case you can go with the game ready driver that's fine to go next again you need to go to search and you need to type Nvidia here again once you do so you can see the Nvidia control panel option here you need to click on this all right fellow so once you're right inside the Nvidia control panel your concern is manage 3d settings only and you need to apply the program settings to the premiere pro so that GPU can be used by the Premiere Pro and you need to specifically or you can say you need to customize the GPU settings for the Premiere Pro and for that purpose I have made a very special video on that topic too you can check that out and after applying the nvidia control panel settings you will see a significant increase in your rendering speed and you will see the boost in video editing in the premiere pro so once you have watched this video you need to dive straight into the premiere pro we are right inside the adobe premiere pro and here first of all you need to click on this playback resolution here and once you click on this you will see the plenty of options here and i highly recommend to use one by two one by four because what it will do, it will try to reduce the usage of RAM and CPU while you are watching the preview of your timeline video editing. And I highly recommend to go for 1x2, 1x4 because it will use less resources from RAM and CPU. And as a result, you will see the fast rendering speed or the preview speed in your timeline while you are editing your videos. And once you are done, you need to go to the file and you need to navigate to the project settings and you need to hit general. Once you do so, you need to make sure you are in the general tab and you need to find the renderer tab here and you will see the drop down option here where you will find software only and the gpu acceleration cuda you need to make sure you select mercury playback engine gpu acceleration cuda or you can also have a mercury gpu acceleration cuda both of these gpu accelerations are good and you need to select it so that your gpu can be used while you're rendering or uh, editing your videos in the adobe preview pro and uh, once you're then apply these settings do not change anything else and click on ok secondly you need to go to edit and uh, find the preferences and uh, select general you need to make sure the display color management requires gpu acceleration is enabled it will give you a very sharp and saturated colors so that you can edit your videos very professionally and uh, for that you also might need to have the ips panel lcd so that you can differentiate each colors and uh, edit your videos and do color grading like never before the next setting is you need to find the media tab here and make sure the h264 hevc hardware accelerated decoding and encoding both requires the restart for the uh, premiere pro to apply these effects and uh, you need to make sure both of these options are checked and uh, you are done in the media tab next you need to go to the media cache and uh, you need to remove all the media cache files what it will do it will try to remove the cache files from your premiere pro and as a result it will increase the your memory and as a result you will see a very fast performance in your video editing workflow for that you can uh, select on this delete button and it will show you some message and you need to click on ok
once you're done you need to uh, go to the memory tab uh, next to the media cache and you need to make sure what is your installed ram for example in this case it is 16 gb now i want to allocate the maximum ram to my premiere pro so that it can use the ram while i am editing or i am rendering the video out of the premiere pro for that i will try to reserve the ram maximum for premiere pro and minimum for the other applications so for that you need to select the gbs to its minimum where you can see ram reserved for other application it is 3 gb and right now ram available for the premium pro is 13 gb now in this case i have allocated a maximum memory to my premium pro uh, as a result it will increase the rendering speed and editing workflow in your premium pro and uh, you need to make sure optimize rendering for performance is selected if you select the memory it will slow down your computer so you can try both of these options if you have a very large amount of memories for example 64 gb 128 gb of ram you can go for memory it will consume all of your memory and uh, you will see a very very fast rendering in the premium pro but for now i highly recommend to use the performance because it will optimize the editing workflow in the background and it will consume the gpu ram and uh, cpu while you are editing uh, in the premium pro and once you are done you need to click on ok another important setting is in the export settings once you are done editing your videos in the premiere pro you need to uh, go to the file and you need to click on export and uh, select media you can also use the shortcut which is the control plus m once you do so you can apply the best export settings for the premiere pro i have made a very special video on this separately you can check that out and you can follow each and every step so that you can maximize the performance and get the smaller size video which will be very high in quality so first setting is you need to make sure render at maximum depth is enabled and next in the encoding settings uh, performance you will have a drop down here and here you need to make sure to select the hardware encoding not software encoding but uh, hardware encoding will enable the gpu to be used whenever you have the mp4 codec in your a video editing project but if you are facing any issues while you're exporting you can select the software encoding but it might be kind of slow so i highly recommend to use the hardware encoding so that your gpu can be used while you're rendering in the premiere pro once you're done you need to specify the best bitrate settings for the, your video to have the maximum output quality but i have also made a very special video on this bitrate settings and i will make another video in the future so that you can know which bitrate is best for my video and last but not the least is the use maximum render quality option you need to make sure it is selected and if you are editing the slow motion videos you need to select the optical flow in your time interpolation but if you are editing just a normal video 4k videos which is very good in quality you can select the frame sampling and that's it you now need to follow all these steps and uh, you, you can click on export and you will see a significant increase in your rendering speed so that's all guys i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions you can comment down below i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible and uh, thanks again and have a nice day